Hello, this is Ryan Zakos with Zakos Realty here out of Sarasota, Florida. In today's video, I'm going to continue on with the series of Lakewood Ranch. And we're going to talk about in this new episode, a community called Riverwalk. Riverwalk is one of the first communities that was developed in all of Lakewood Ranch. And it was used as a guide in developing the rest of all of Lakewood Ranch, which is still obviously being developed and continuing under construction. Riverwalk was built in um, the late 90s, started around 1999 and finished completion in the early 2000s, probably around 2003. They're beautiful homes. They range from about 1,500 square feet all the way up to 3,000 plus square feet. You'll see two car garages, three car garages, very similar architectural style. Only difference might be is there were multiple builders that were being used to develop and build in Riverwalk. There are five different subdivisions or sections. There are oaks, meadows, ridge, uh, hammock, and grove. And those are the five different sections. All sections are similar. There is one section of Riverwalk that has more of the larger custom homes and uh, Lee Weatherington was a big component in building in that section of Riverwalk. It's a phenomenal area, great location. You're only a couple miles to downtown Lakewood Ranch, right there to the main street. You're nestled between University and State Road 70, so you're about as far south and west as you can get on the Manatee County side of Lakewood Ranch. So it's a wonderful location, and obviously that's why it was one of the first developed, being it is the most far west. Those five sections of Riverwalk are on both sides of Lakewood Ranch, so there's a section on the, the west side of Lakewood Ranch Boulevard, and then the as well as the east side of Lakewood Ranch Boulevard. So so it just depends on what section you are looking in as well as what the builders are so you know like i said earlier some of the builders included lee weatherington bruce williams homes homes by town and um, a handful of other builders in the area at that time wonderful custom builders all block construction homes and they all used typically hard stone countertops in the kitchen vaulted or high ceilings pretty open concepts the only difference you might see in the late 90s was the kitchen area being a little bit closed off but that's really the only difference between the homes being built today and the 90s The price point that you will see in Riverwalk is anywhere between 500 to 1.3 million. Obviously that varies based off the size of the home, the lot, what section of the community, all that kind of stuff. Riverwalk is zoned for a wonderful school district, some of the top rated schools in all Lakewood Ranch in Willis Elementary, Nolan Middle School, and Lincoln Ranch High School. The HOA is about $100 a year. There are no amenities in Riverwalk. You do have some walking trails and some parks that are close by. Because it is developed, you know, 20 years ago, it is a beautifully mature, very green landscape. I was actually out there with a client showing us some houses yesterday, and they just fell in love with that area. When you're driving down Lake Ranch Boulevard, oak trees are canopied. You pull into Riverwalk, some of the neighborhoods there, beautiful maturity and landscaping and a ton of green space. And that's what I feel like is black in some of those new construction communities in Lakewood Ranch that Riverwalk does offer. The $100 a year in the HOA basically covers the, the common ground maintenance, the signage and stuff like that for the community. There is a CDD associated with Riverwalk, just like there is in every neighborhood in Lakewood Ranch. It is a lot lower in Riverwalk, which is nice, about $1,500 a year in that CDD, and it is lumped into your tax bill. It's not a, a separate fee that you would pay. So that's it. I think if you are considering moving to Lakewood Ranch, and you're looking for a home in a wonderful location, I think this is definitely a neighborhood that you should consider. If you're looking in the neighborhoods like Greenbrook or Edgewater or Summerfield, Riverwalk is going to be right in that class. Um, you can still find some really good bang for your buck. You might have to do some light remodels or renovations to, to bring the styling up to current styles and trends. But because of that, you're able to potentially get some good deals in the neighborhood. Also, like I said, Lee West Weatherington is building million dollar plus homes only right now in Lakewood Ranch. So you're getting a very good quality builder in Lee Weatherington Homes, as well as even Bruce Williams and other, other builders that are building in Riverwalk. Getting a quality home in a great location in Lakewood Ranch within a great community that has easily accessible to everything around you. If you have any questions, I'd love to be a resource for you. I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks. Thank you.